Hey YouTube, what's up? And today I'll be showing you ScreenFlow 3 for the Mac. Let's get started. Before I get to ScreenFlow 3, I would like to apologize for not making videos recently. My iMax hard drive totally quit on me. Well, technically didn't quit, but it just, you know, like, totally had an error in it, and my Mac would not start up, so I've been dealing with that. I lost all my data on my iMac, so I've been slowly recovering that data, and I've been really busy. So that's what I've been doing. I greatly apologize, but now we're going to move on to ScreenFlow 3. What you know what ScreenFlow 3 is, ScreenFlow 3 is the latest version of ScreenFlow 2, obviously. ScreenFlow was... It, is an awesome screencasting program. I do all my videos in it. ScreenFlow is probably my favorite program of all time. It's just an amazing program. I love it. And so let me go on and just show you what ScreenFlow is right now. Uh, and so here I have ScreenFlow 3 open and it is really just an awesome program. I can't say you know too much about ScreenFlow. It's just an amazing program. And uh, so I'm going to start out by showing you by showing you some of the new line features. As you can see the scroll bars will disappear until I'm ready to scroll, and then they'll show up, and then I can scroll just like that, you know, like with my magic trackpad or whatever I want to do, and it has that bounce, of course, so it'll bounce whenever I get to the end or something, which is nice. I also have the full screen button here. When you click that, it, it will take you full screen, obviously, and then whenever I go up here, it'll pop down your menu bar, but I really don't like that because it just bothers me because you know like you're down here okay you're working you're doing something and you need to get to the file menu so you gotta go up here you gotta wait for it to show up and then hit file and then export or whatever so i really don't like that but it is there if you need it so i'm gonna go back regular now and let me show you some more here the next thing i want to show you is my favorite new feature which is the ability to blur out something so i know this is kind of small at least i think it is i have a hard time seeing this little bitty window here so we're going to get this just right Right, there is where I start. So now we're going to go to a call out. We're going to select this clip. Uh, it's this one here. We're going to add a call out. We're going to do a freehand call out. We're going to do a square. And we are going to select this little area here. And then what I want to do is turn up the blur, down opacity, and there we go. So I blurred out my email there. So now, once I close this out, we're ready to go. And now it's going to blur out my email. And I'll just extend this little clip here to the rest of the thing. I'm not really typing my email there, so I don't have to worry about it. But you'll just extend that to the length of how long that is there. Really awesome feature that I've been wanting for a very long time. And now it's finally here. You know, you've seen those little black boxes in my videos that are terrible. Now we have a blur that we can use, which is really awesome. Something I've been wanting for a long time. Some more things we have here. We have versions, which is really nice. So if I click the little edit button here, I can hit browse all versions, which is nice. It's going to pop up like a time machine interface, which is nice. And then I can go and go back here to a previous version I've had, which is nice. So you can see where I had it in a 1080p format instead of a, a 7 or a, like a 1440p, actually. And this is a 720p format. So here is how it's changed. I can go back and say I want this one, then I can go back and get it, which is really nice. But I'm going to just use this one for right now. Let's see, some more features. Oops, some more features we have. I accidentally went to my iTunes library. Apologize. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? There's some really awesome features here. We have a, we have published a Vimeo now, which is nice. And when you hit just regular export now, you can actually have a custom setting. So, like, you can have your own preset, which is nice. Really awesome. So, you can copy this preset down here and change it up the way you want to, which is cool. So, I get out of this. And there's just tons and tons of little things that I haven't found them on yet. You can now do... Uh, annotations so say oops, say I want to point out this box here so let's go back to here and let's say we start here we're gonna pick this little arrow here we're going to add an annotation clip so it's gonna go up here we're going to change this to a different color if it'll let me I have it uh, should be there I don't know what the deal is it's probably over here somewhere oh sorry I have to draw it that's what's wrong with so there I've drawn my little arrow I can adjust the size for just like this. It's nice. Oops. Oops, I've drawn another arrow there. Now I want to change the color of this arrow. We'll change this to a darker blue or something, or like a brownish color. And then we'll add a shadow to that. Make the shadow a little less dark. And then we'll add an outline if we want to. And we can change the endpoints. So say I want an arrow on the other end of that, then we can do that. And then let's say I want to have this move. So let's say that I want this annotation to move down with it. 
So let's say I start right here. I'm going to drag this out just a little bit. Now we're going to go to video properties. We're going to go here, add a video action. I'm going to leave that there, and then we're going to start here. And then by the end of that, we want to be oops, down here. And let's even adjust the way the arrow moves here just a little bit. So let's say we're going to point down there now. Let's say, oops, so let me. And then whenever I start, it's going to move. Which I know I messed it up there. It's supposed to start here. We're going to end up there. So then you've got your nice smooth transition there and you can make that longer if you want to just say i want to move really slow we can do that just like that so now it's going to move really slow and that's another really cool feature that i love so now i can do arrows all kinds of crazy stuff and now i can just hit save as a version and now it's there and that's really cool. Another great version that I just remembered is now you have open a empty document. That is something that I've been wanting for a long time. So now say I, I don't even want to start with a, a ScreenFlow document. That, that is awesome. Because before, if I wanted to just edit in ScreenFlow but not actually capture it with ScreenFlow, I had to start a recording and then do it for like two seconds and stop the recording, delete the footage, and then go from there. Now you can just open an empty document. Really an amazing feature. I'm very happy that they added that. I've been wanting that for a long time. And there's just tons of stuff like that. It's really awesome. There's small changes. There's big changes. There's just all kinds of awesome stuff. And this is pretty much all I have for you guys. And it's just a small taste of what ScreenFlow 3 is and what it has to offer. It is $99 in the Mac App Store. And they have confirmed to me that you will be getting free upgrades if you buy it in the Mac App Store. So that is the way to go. Because if you bought ScreenFlow 2, not in the Mac App Store, you had to pay $29 to upgrade, but if you bought it in the Mac App Store, it was a free upgrade. So if you're going to buy it, the link to the Mac App Store will be down in the description for you to purchase that. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.